said you're a flight flight leave Chuck alone. Yeah. <laughs> he did very <And> much. <laughs> you said that you're a you said you're a flight attendant big big old feminist. Yeah. Well, you can't rage quit if you're going to come in guns blazing, guns blazing. You got to stay till the very Do end. Do I have to? Pretty much. Anyways, <laughs> you said women shouldn't be drafted because the equal rights amendment still hasn't been passed. Exactly. And women aren't constitu- constitutionally, excuse me, equal to men. Yes. The stuff I wanted to talk sure. about. Sure. So why don't we dive into that? So you, your position yeah. is women shouldn't be drafted. You're a feminist, though. I assume you believe in equality. Yes. So how do you reconcile being a feminist and be- believing in, in equality, but uh, being in favor of inequality when it comes to selective service? Because the Equal Rights Amendment has not yet passed. So women but, are still not constitutionally equal men. So f- for that to pa- if that passes, draft me, daddy. I'm ready to go. So when you say women aren't constitutionally equal to men, and the you mentioned the Equal Rights Amendment, what do you mean? The, the Equal Rights Amendment. Well, assume there's a panel here who has no idea what that is. <laughs> assume there's viewers here who have no idea what that the is. The Equal Rights Amendment is actually... Oh, let's have her answer. <laughs> wow, I didn't think you wouldn't know what the Equal Rights Amendment is. Um, well, did I say it's I just don't? That, no, I it's just that you... It's, it would be an amendment to the Constitution that you can't discriminate on the basis of sex. You mean the 19th Amendment? Yeah. No. No? No, it would be the ERA, the Equal Rights Amendment. This amendment, it's not clear to me how, because you said, so currently women aren't constitutionally equal to men. So I suppose where in the Constitution would it indicate or show that they're not equal to men? You have the 19th Amendment? Yep. Okay, pull it up. By the citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. Congress shall have the power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you're equal to men when it comes to voting. And if you're equal to men when it comes to voting, then that means that you can elect whatever politician you want to enforce your will just like we can. Mm -hmm. Totally equal. Then why didn't the Equal Rights Amendment pass? Because it's not what? about equal rights. It's about redefining the word woman. It mm. redefines the word woman from biological woman with XX chromosomes to anybody who wants to identify as a woman. Right. It is a change in the very definition of what we just have all agreed as a woman. So, so this, mm-hmm. this said, there can be We're no discrimination based upon sex. There's How long has that been gone? Even if you think a person can, whatever they identify as, they are that thing, even the advocates for transgenderism would not say that they're the sex of. So a transgender female is not going to say that they have female genitalia. So the descriptor here for sex would work across the board for everybody. A transgender female wouldn't say that she has female genitalia. They would not say that they are females biologically. She... They would not say that they're biologically... That's correct. They would say there's only two sexes. There could only ever be two. One sex produces ova with big, large gametes. The other one produces sperm, which is small gametes. So there's only two. Because there's only two, there's only two reproductive pathways. Even the major transgender advocates do not say that there's more than two sexes. They say that there's hundreds of genders. Okay. But there's still only two sexes. So that amendment, the 19th Amendment, says based on sex, which would cover every human being, every human being who currently exists in the United States, not a one that that would not cover, cannot be discriminated against based on sex when it comes to voting. Did Not you read one. the Equal Rights Amendment? Yeah. So then how would this... Con- <laughs> what do you mean? Like, if you re- read the bill, then you would realize yeah. that, like, the point of the ERA is not to amend the 19th Amendment, but to pass legislation to change the definition of woman. Yeah, I'm for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, that so. but why is women getting drafted contingent on whether you change the definition of I women? I just, like, you know, I don't understand why that's a, like, why would that be a difficult thing to pass? Like, if the ERA is not a well, thing. Well, that, that's two separate issues. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But wasn't that a big topic that, like, Phyllis Schlafly was all about? Like, if the ERA passes, women are going to be drafted. Yeah, yeah. It, would, it would open the door to them being drafted, I suppose. So you're already, but you're, the thing is, is the epitome of the straw man now, right? Mm. To create the arguments against people who never made them. So I, I so most certainly never made such an argument. Brian most certainly never made such an argument. The argument that we're making is very specific. Okay. The argument is that if men can be drafted, 
Sure. Right? And they can be. Mm -hmm. And they're forced to sign up for selective service, and they are, mm -hmm. or else there's huge penalties against them. Yeah. If you truly believed in egalitarianism, why is it that you would not demand the same thing from women? Because I, I don't think it's enough. I think that if it truly was equal, then the ERA should have passed no problem. No. I think we're getting into a different topic. I don't, I don't I think, think that... we are. Jai Vanek donated again? $200. No, I just... I, and even under her goofy concept of trans... gender, 2020 SCOTUS opinion Bostock v. Clayton already prohibits discrimination on the basis of orientation and gender identity. But we don't even have to. We don't even have to get that far. So pull up the 19th again. The citizen, the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States by any state on account of sex. If that is true, then no human being inside the United States is going to not be able to vote, period, based on a sexual characteristic, period. Okay. So in your... The, it, like, so the, e the hold, equal hold rights on. is... Okay. Hold on. So we can get into the Equal Rights Amendment component of this, mm -hmm. but you said that women shouldn't be drafted because the Equal Rights Amendment still hasn't been passed and women aren't constitutionally equal to men. That's the, the second claim there is the claim right. that I want to investigate. You said women aren't constitutionally equal to men. What, can you articulate how? Well, I, like I found in my notes, the ERA's equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the U.S., or by any state on the basis of sex. I'm actually willing to go with this. So you agree that this has to do with redefining what a woman is, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Do you think currently that transgender men have to sign up for selective service? So are they assigned male or female at birth? They're assigned female at birth. And they transition to male? Yeah, even sure. before they reach 18. Before they reached 18, mm -hmm. if they're fully transitioned, then yeah, I would I would think so. They don't. They do not then have to sign up for the selective service. And that should change. Okay. So, so what you have just demonstrated is that even if we're talking about the trans agenda, that trans men are also still not trans equal with trans women. They're men. still not equal with trans women. Because they're men. Trans men wait, are men. Wait, wait. Hang on. Hang on. If that's true... Right? Then how come they don't have to sign up for selective they service? They should have to because they're men. Okay, they should have to. Because they're men, yes. So then shouldn't <laughs> trans women? Trans women should what? Shouldn't trans women, right? Shouldn't they be exempt under this? Trans women shouldn't have to sign up? Yeah. For the, yes. Even though they're biologically males? No, trans women are women. A biologically male. Trans women are women. Yeah, but biologically trans they're males. Trans women are women. Yeah, but you're they're not women. saying anything. I don't. You're not saying anything. No, either. I am. I'm saying they're something very specific. They're biologically whatever. They're women. Okay, got it. So what you're saying here is that you think that trans men who are born female should have to, hang on, should have to sign up for the draft, but that the ones who are assigned man at birth, assigned male at birth, mm -hmm. they should be exempt from the draft. If they are transitioned to women, mm -hmm. identify as women, mm -hmm. yes. Why do they have to transition? Why couldn't they just identify? Then they're women. They're trend whatever point they are, mm -hmm. if they're a woman, then they're a woman. Then it's equal between all of it, right? Because in this case, then biological men, if they say they're women, they don't have to get drafted. Sure. Throw that equal rights amendment up there and we're all equal and draft us all. So <laughs> I just want to make sure I get this right. Right now, you agree that nobody can be barred from voting on the basis of sex. Right. Do you think there's a third sex? No. There's, I think that there are women and men. There's yeah, do you think there's a third sex? Also... How many sexes do you think there are? I don't think that matters. I think it matters. How many sexes do you think there I are? I think that this is like, a, do you know any transgender people? Yeah. How many sexes you do? do you think there are? Yeah. Yeah, do you think that yeah, this I is name, harmful can, to their... Whether it's... Okay, let's assume for a second that I don't think that transgender people are, don't understand that you can have a conversation about biological sex without going and unaliving themselves. I don't think... No, it's not about that. that. It's, it's that. that you set, like, a precedent of? where... Well, you set a precedent of, like, you know, violence where my friends don't feel safe going to, like, their places of work. Or yeah, but what would that have to do with the, with whether they're equal or violence? not? Well, when you're saying like when you have these arguments that like don't 
like trans women are women, trans men are men. Fine. And when you break that down, even if I say to, that, yeah, nobody's going to dispute that there's only two sexes. If there's only two sexes, okay. the Nineteenth Amendment says that nobody can be denied the right to vote right. okay. via sex. Sure. So all those trans people can vote. Right. Okay. So so then what what's the inequality issue here? That's what I said. So draft them all. So so then you think everybody should get drafted? Throw the equal rights amendment up there. No. Because no. if everybody's Why do we equal need then the there should be amendment. no problem. If we I you know what? If there's no problem and if we don't like we should have it then. Why, why is it Wait, such can, a big can, deal? Can I, ask you, I think this word will sum this up perfect, okay. perfectly. Redundancy. So women already have, at least it's my position, are constitutionally equal to men. So that, even if... I don't think even, so. Okay, yeah. but what, so you're... What are you hold asking hold for? What do we not but get that you think we should bodily get? Bodily autonomy? What, we do. Okay, so <laughs> it's my view, though, that... You're saying, well, we don't have this bill that is named and called and titled the Equal Rights Amendment, ergo, we don't have equal rights because a bill that is titled the Equal Rights Amendment was not passed. Mm -hmm. But the current state of affairs, the 19th Amendment, constitutionally, women are equal, but you made the claim women aren't constitutionally equal, so the burden is on you to articulate how women aren't constitutionally equal to men, and you cannot point to a bill just by virtue of the title of the bill, it not passing, being evidence that women aren't constitutionally equal to men. How is something called the Equal Rights Amendment not passing? Do you think that North Korea is really a republic? Because it's called the Republic of North Korea. Okay. It's a communist dictatorship, but it is called the Republic of North Korea. The Inflation Reduction no. Act only boosted inflation. So the contents of a bill might oftentimes have nothing to do with the actual title. Okay. So you did make the claim, and women, that's separate from the Equal Rights Amendment, aren't constitutionally equal to men. So you're going to have to articulate how women aren't constitutionally equal to men. I think that if they were, then the Equal Rights Amendment should have passed. No problem. That's all I have to say about the Equal Rights Amendment. I also think that w women would be able to have more bodily autonomy. Okay, so we can we can get into that. Okay. Would you vote so that men couldn't vote on women's bodily autonomy? Men couldn't vote. Uh -huh. Like I, I'm, I don't understand in the context. Do, do you, yeah, would I feel you like it would be yes? W you would vote so that men couldn't in vote on women's context? abortion. Like, Yes, I would vote that way. Okay, right. So that's the same reason that we vote that you don't have abortions. But, okay, <laughs> well, there you go. It's just like that. If you would vote that we couldn't tell you that you couldn't, well, that's a that fair in point. a democracy, then, then we I'm... could vote in a democracy to tell you you can't, right. see? Sure, well, then I do think that's wrong. And I... Well, okay. So Hold then on. voting's yeah. wrong? No, I think that I should backtrack my statement because I think that everybody should have bodily autonomy. So if you, I guess, if you want to vote for my right to not have control over my body, I do think that's unfair. Well, okay, hold on. You know, we're and I probably it. shouldn't uh, vote for you, dude. Not going to allow you to weasel out of this. <laughs> so <laughs> you can try to bring up abortion, but that's a different that's conversation. A different argument. Yeah. You stated, and women aren't constitutionally equal to men. I don't think we are. How? You you don't I think don't so, how, but that's yeah. what I'm asking. I want to be that's convinced. That's what I'm trying. I want to oh, be convinced. Hold on, just let her answer. It's okay. I remain unconvinced. So, okay. <laughs> you don't think we are. In what ways do you think you are not constitutionally equal? I told you that I didn't think we were because the ERA didn't pass. Oh, can you give but, us an example? Th that's the example I gave. Okay, so... <laughs> If you don't like that one, then that's no, fine. I mean, you uh, don't like uh, it, then move okay, on. But, but, but like a real-time example. Uh, I gave you abortion. So, well, wait, 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 hold on. Because she she explained what the bill was, but you never gave your explanation to what this means. So I keep wanting to know what what do you mean this bill? Like what is it to you? Like what what was denied? The right for trans men to be trans women and I'm all of us lie. to be the same thing? Because that's how she explained it. Is that it's to universal like all of us to make trans women. Women. That's what this bill is. is no, that what it is I mean, to you? like the definition of feminism is like to me. Well, not even to me. It's literally the belief that women and men should be allowed to have the same rights, which we do. And I feel like 
the Equal Rights Amendment says that. So, but, but isn't the nineteenth this... just for voting? So okay. why can't we have that for everything? If the nineteenth is just for, for voting, yeah, we do. So, so actually, so. hang on. This is a great question, and I, I would like to answer your okay. question. If you can name a single right, a single right that you think that this is not applicable to, meaning men have it and women don't, Mulliers. Hmm. You say that women can't do abortions, neither can men. Okay. I'm trying to think. Do you mind if I have some time to think about sure. it? Sure. Okay. So wouldn't men be not as equal by not having a say in abortion as a woman does? The man was there to make the I baby. mean, it's both I of think the, that's a... Right. I'm, I'm just while, asking a question. While she's thinking, while she's <laughs> thinking... It's not a debate. Nick, I'm just asking a question. Pull up the... Uh, ...tests that increase penalties for violence against women but not men. Your thoughts? Are you going to be mad if I make a generalization? Nope. Men are more violent than women. It's not a generalization. That's a data point. Yeah, One which I dispute, by the way. <laughs> like the IPV rates? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The... the one directional IPV rates. Yeah. Well, actually, really quick on that, I know it's kind of getting a little bit off topic. So, if we're looking at uh, homosexual relationships, for mm -hmm. example, so you have heterosexual relationships, gay men and lesbian women. They've actually found that. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Um, sorry, guys, there's a little slip going. So, gay men mm -hmm. have the lowest incidence rate of domestic violence, and then Next up, in terms of couplings, you have heterosexual relationships. And then the highest rate, the highest incidence rate of domestic violence is actually in lesbian relationships. So what are your takes on that, if men are more That's violent? Insane. But removing men from the picture entirely when there's two women in a relationship together mm -hmm. and two men in a relationship together, the rates among gay men having domestic violence in those relationships is the lowest compared to both heterosexual relationships and lesbian relationships, and it's the highest in lesbian relationships even compared to heterosexual and homo uh, gay male relationships. I would almost argue that like it's unreported among gay male males. Wouldn't it also and that's be like unreported? An incorrect data point. Like for I, yeah, lesbian women. I just think it's no because I think that like women would be more likely to report something like that, and I think that. Uh, Inside of your be. list of fallacies, yes. did you write down the argument from incredulity? No. You did not write down the argument No, from Purdue incredulity. didn't have that one. It's not really an argument to say, well, I can't demonstrate this, but I just think that X is probably Sure. True. Okay, that, that's fair. But yeah. I also don't think that equating what's happening in a relationship is the same as, like, what like men being like more violent overall but the w this was in context of the dom like this domestic violence is, is that what like the law is about the violence against women violence against women yeah. so that's a domestic that's I believe, a law i believe it's but about but domestic don't you guys violence. like stand on the point that men are stronger than women yeah so like that has nothing to wouldn't do with that violence, be though. a thing wouldn't like, mean that they're more violent. isn't that don't you want to protect like women it against doesn't the make strong you more men? violent just because you're stronger for instance there's going to be women who are stronger than other women right sure would you then infer that that would mean that women who are stronger than other women would just be more violent because they're stronger no but i think that testosterone makes men more violent okay but there's going to be higher rates of testosterone in stronger women than less strong women Okay. So yeah, Florence, if they would have more testosterone, then they would be more violent. Yeah. You think that that testosterone is only going? So so your inference is that testosterone equals violence? I think that it can. Yeah, I think that so there's can estrogen. <laughs> estrogen's a bitch. Yeah, she's not Nick, great. Nick, really quick. Uh, so okay, guys, really quick before we get back into it, you have you had some time to think about the? It was the no. what rights? No. Mm -hmm. So what rights do women have that men don't? I'll give you a bit more time to think about it. So if you have a prime sub, can you do a little test in the chat? And uh, thank you. Oh, Brian is gross. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it, Brian is gross. Call me Kyle. Guys, twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow and a prime sub if you have one. If you're watching on YouTube, open up another tab. Watching on Twitch, just drop us a follow. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And then we do have a super chat here from Matthew Sh Matthew Shrek, plain and simple, are we equal or not? Should all people, men, women, trans, et cetera, be held up to same standards and responsibilities? Thank you, Matthew Shrek. Are we equal or are we not? I will concede on the fact that I can't give you more evidence, but I don't believe that we are equal right now. So I apologize that I did not come more prepared. 
Well, you can. You don't need to articulate every single way in which you believe women are unequal. I would like to hear maybe one or two, though. I don't know if that's I, too I, much of an ask. I don't think that we are just in like societal ways. We yeah. want because your original claim was not societally; it was rights. Okay. Yeah. The, and then so you said I, I women said, aren't constitutionally equal to men. Yeah. And I think that's even different. I think that's a higher threshold. The 19th Wait, Amendment hold, hold, hold applies on. to voting. Let me just finish. Let yeah. me just finish. I think aren't constitutionally equal to men is actually going to be a higher threshold for you to prove than just rights. But so I'm, I'm okay. even willing to go yeah. down to just speaking about rights. So what rights do well, men have that well, women... Well, maybe we could talk about like constitutionally then, because like I told you I don't, I don't have the rights. I'm not more prepared, and I'm very sorry about that. But, but it's your claim. Okay. So, I mean, that's what I'm saying is, like, I don't have that but information. It's, I didn't. That's a really massive claim to make, okay. that men have more rights. I did not say that. I said they're not, men are not, constitu or women are not constitutionally equal to men. Okay. I believe that because the ERA is passed. You disagree with that point. But I've already, I've, I've tried to articulate that. Well, I think it, that's, I think it, that's like, fair. What yeah, about the ERA? Like, what about the ERA will make women equal to men? It passing. Yeah, but what? <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Wait, wait, can I ask you a question? If there was nothing, if there was nothing in the bill, and the title of the bill was purely "Equal Rights Amendment," and there's just nothing and in the actual bill, and women are equal to men in the Constitution, and that's all it said. I, yeah, great, pass it. I, oh that's God. what Bye. I'm saying. But you're still not saying what you feel like you're. Why it didn't pass? Like because why? Because it was political, and the name does not mean that that is what is inside of it. That's what sh this person was trying to bring up in the super okay. chat about the Violence Against Women Act actually not protecting women. It's just a name. If you're involved in politics, if you follow this for a long time, you know that they pass these bills and they put these bills up solely that so Democrats can look at you if you're a Republican and say Republicans don't believe in equal rights for women, and then people okay. believe it. Okay. So don't believe it. I, if the I issue is societal too, what is like just passing a bill going to do? If it's like a societal norm issue, I think maybe? it just I think it starts at those like at those base levels. Yeah, but how does that change your day to day your life? If the ERA was passed, what tangible changes would occur? I think isn't it true that like if the ERA passed Roe versus Wade would have been protected more no, so what does that have to do with rights between men and women? Isn't that men, a right to bodily autonomy? Yeah, men have no reproductive rights, so it's not a it's you can't make this comparison. Yeah. Men don't have a right to an abortion or they don't have a right to prevent women from getting an abortion. This is a That's feminist a right trope. Thing. I don't know if there's actually any validity to doctors requiring a spouse to consent to these things. Perhaps in years past, man, more considerably well, harder to get your tubes tied than for a man to get well, a second. That's hold on, hold on, wait. That that has nothing to do with the consent of the spouse. Getting your tubes tied is a far more invasive procedure than mm -hmm. a vasectomy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To start there, they, they the do way, they do often ask about spouse. They do often ask children, and they do play that. I've into heard a factor, stories from men all over the country that when they went in to get a vasectomy, that the doctor demanded that they come in and do counseling first with their wife before they they made the decision to have the vasectomy. I don't think that's correct. Well, right. So this is <laughs> this is the thing. I don't think that it's correct to say that your dad had to sign off on the tube tying either. I'm saying that it happened, but it shouldn't have. It, sh it yeah, should I'm not, not be a Yeah, I'm not sure that it did happen. If we're oh. just using okay, incredulity, Okay, well, if you're just going to call me a liar, then I can just go around the table and call you all liars all night. Okay, well, so... <laughs> but that's, that's why we don't use an argument from incredulity. If you say to me, I don't oh, think... What that, about an argument from I don't, experience? I don't think that that happens. If you say to me, I don't think that happens. What if it actually stop, happened to me? If it actually happens to you, that's different. But it didn't actually happen to you. It happened to someone else. But for you to say, I just simply don't think that that's true... If that you can assert that, then I just assert it about everything you say. Yeah, but I just don't think that that's true. All right? That's why you don't make assertions or claims unless you can either logically demonstrate them, empirically demonstrate them, or in some way demonstrate them. So the evidence? Do you, would you like me to like get the paperwork or okay, something? Okay, that would be I, evidence. Okay, I have to move it off of the <laughs> right. tube tying thing. That's yeah. But back to this. So if the <coughs> ERA was passed. What would be the sort of tangible results when it came to the equality that women could expect to receive that they don't currently have, that you can't articulate? I think that 
Roe versus Wade would have been more protected. Uh, well, then, I, 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 like I said, I, this is why I, I told you I don't know. I, uh, Chrissy, do you know if, if in the ERA there has, there's anything in there that has anything to do with abortion rights? I think that yes. she's referencing, like, making abortion legal at a federal level but that, Ro yes okay that's but Ro exactly versus Wade, yeah. that's not what okay, Ro versus yes, Wade is. that's this what is, it is then yes yeah, abortion would be right. legal at a federal level thank okay. you you're welcome so aside from abortion which it's not clear to me if that has really anything to do with a comparative uh -huh. analysis of mm -hmm. rights between men and women can you give me anything else that would tangibly change if the era was passed for women no okay so then is that a checkmate? That's it, yeah. There's yeah. nowhere to go with All that. right, Navy Darkstar, thank you for the gift of 10 subs. Yeah, I'm a, still a little confused, confused, I guess. But... This is called an AFF. You know what? It's I'll, my own coined fallacy. It's called an argument from feelings. You know what? I can actually think of one Isn't way. Isn't it a bleeding heart, liberal? Well, I mean, look... I've debated with a lot of liberals and a lot of progressives. And there's a lot of smart liberals. There's a lot of smart progressives who don't make arguments from their feelings. Okay. And they're brutal to, to have drag out debates with. They're super smart. They're really well informed. That is not what this was. Okay. I can actually think of one right that men have that women don't, although this is geographically specific because in some jurisdictions it actually is allowed. But men can go out into public shirtless, and in some areas, women can't. Okay. Aside from that, and again, it's jurisdi jurisdiction specific. In some municipalities and cities, women can go shirtless. Can't really think of really any right that men have that women don't. So the states allow their municipalities to govern themselves. Some municipalities say that women can do this, some don't. Still wouldn't have anything to do with the right. Well, in some municipalities, women wouldn't have the right. That's not a right, though. That's just a, that's ordinance, right? Oh, yeah. So at this case, in this case, this it's left up to the states, but there's no rights which are being actually violated. If it's pushed back to municipalities in the states, and overwhelmingly most municipalities and jurisdictions preclude women from going topless, wouldn't it be like a stop sign law? It would just be a law like this. you got to wear shoes or no shirt, no service or something like sure. that. It would be an ordinance. That would not be a right. Well, in any so case. There's no right to find that men can walk around with their shirt off. There's no right to Nothing. find that yeah. women cannot walk around with their shirt off. There's local ordinances which prevent this. These aren't inalienable rights. Right. It's not there's in no the inalienable right to walk around nude. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and further, just, I mean, the, are you familiar with the legal term de minimis? Mm hmm. So it's such a, mi I would consider it a fairly minor, at least in the scale of what, t when people typically have conversations about rights, this one would occur to me to be Who fairly minor. Who would care minor. anyway? You think that if they wanted to pass a constitutional amendment that women could walk around topless, then any fucking men would object? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody's going to object to it. Sign me up. They're not objecting I'll to that. I'll advocate for that shit. And okay. there's no women out there advocating for that. So it's like... Even that would just be a really poor mm. example, ultimately. We have Brian Rickard. Women are already protected. The 14th Amendment already provides equal protection. Married Women's Property Acts were passed in 18, excuse me, 1839, 1839 and then thereafter Equal Pay Act passed in 1963. Fair Housing Act prevents discrimination in housing on basis of sex. And so this is like... Thank you, Brian. You, Good you, name. When you're thinking about immutable <laughs> characteristics, basically the law at the constitutional level has been completely changed so that people with immutable characteristics are protected via those immutable characteristics. That would be sex, that's race, all of that. Right? And gender and, now, because of Bostock. Yeah, these are things that are unchanging. So, mm. well, except maybe that one, but <laughs> actually immutable, mm. right? And you can't change them. The Constitution has compensated for all of those. Mm. So nobody is, you're not allowed to, you can't say you can't vote because you're black, can't say you can't vote because you're white, can't say you can't vote because you're female, can't say you, can, you can't vote because you're male, can't tell you can't own a gun because you're black, can't tell you can't own a gun because you're white, can't tell you, you can't have freedom of speech because of these things. So all of these across the, across the board, it's protected. Mm based blonde blue shirt bonus points for not butchering your baby god bless <laughs> all right thank you giovanni I appreciate it. and then we do have ss salwoff coming in thank you thank you man for the 
TTS, or no, the TTS, the Streamlabs message. Howdy, longtime listener, first time donator. Hey, thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Why do all the trouble guests sit in that spot? Question for the panel. If Christianity were true, would you become a Christian? Are you able to scoot into the table yeah. just a little bit? Yeah. So, oh, what's the question? Can I, let me say this really quick. I have obviously bitten off more than I can chew. Um, no, you're good. Oh, you're doing great. Don't worry about it. You're a legend. <laughs> you're a legend. You. Coming, you came in guns blazing. You're doing great. <laughs> I tried. No, I really do appreciate the opportunity to be here. Wait, we got to get through at least no, all your nah, notes. Nah, nah, hold nah. on, hold on. Just stay for it. We'll get through no, your notes. I, really, I will fast track. Can you at least fast leave the track. booze? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm leaving the booze. Yeah. That's for you guys. No, I really appreciate you having me on. I feel like that's a reasonable on. contribution. Yeah, I appreciate Wait, you having me on. Wait, let me at least on. fast no, track. No, 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 I gotta Hold go. on. <laughs> you got to go can because... I just, can this be a respectful quit? Like... Thank you for everything. Wait, wait. You can't just I'm leave. Not, like, I don't, I'm not crying. I, I'm tired. That's You're why. You're tired? Yeah. I've been up since like 3 in the morning. Okay. But at least, okay, look, you provided a lot of notes. Tell you what. I will. I'm getting emotional. Hold on. Like, I will fast track. This has been really great. No, listen, crying, but, uh, but at least uh, hear, no, hear the no. offer. You got to at least hear the offer. Respect. I will fast track your notes. I will fast. I, I, you said it was a rage quit. It's not. I think it was a rage quit. Thank you so much. I think it was a rage quit. You can't defend your worldview. You can't defend your worldview. I think you're a coward, to be honest. I think it's cowardly for you to quit because you've been absolutely demolished by Andrew. But but leave the booze. You did a great job, Andrew. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thanks. You're not going to defend all your other things Message here. Me when you become a conservative. Snowflake. Thir yes, imagine she left the booze. <laughs> Total. I mean, I typically wouldn't revert to yeah. at least leave the notes so we can look at them. Look, I mean, she provided a lot of notes. When liberals get angry and get called out. I mean, on this the is. I mean, she said that women don't have equal rights under the Constitution. Using a different sense of the word Constitution, it's a very weak Constitution to not be able to have a conversation without just shutting down every single time. By the way, the somebody... TPUSA girl wrecked her worse than I did. <laughs> I, oh, yeah, <laughs> next, if I give it to you over there. Uh, I don't understand okay. the point of coming on the podcast if you know what you're guns getting blazing. into, and then you're just going to leave. She said she was coming in guns blazing, 80 but pages. Sh <laughs> shut down multiple conversations the moment that she got a little bit outclassed conversationally. We but can we look on the bright side? We can talk she about took up a lot of space on that side of the table. Like. Now we there's couldn't room. talk about anything. I was just going to say. <laughs> so yeah, she she can you can't rate it. yourself. A lot can't of do space. Anything, everything. So okay, now there's space over there. But yeah, she's finished. You can definitely. Okay, so we're going to, yeah, we will move you guys a little bit here. So I think, why don't we. Like, I appreciate the tequila, though. I think, honestly, easiest thing, we'll just have you get out of your seat, okay. you in the middle, and you'll just take that seat right there, I think. Actually, here, let me have you scoot over one. And then I'll, we'll put you in that seat. We'll okay. do that. All right. Sorry, guys. We're just playing musical chairs here. <laughs> guys, the only reason I, I pushed back and I wanted her to stay is she had a bunch of notes, other notes I wanted to get into, yeah. just kind of unfortunate. Oh, by the way, guys, we are, I guess, we are going to... Nick, you good back there? Nick? They're still dealing with her? Okay. I don't know. Are you going to be okay? <laughs> yeah, that'll be okay. Yeah, kidding. that'll be fine. Um... She had a lot of other, I mean, I can just read the notes really quick for those who are curious. Yeah, I'm interested. She's, we won't get into it since she's not here, but I'll just read them. Charlie, Charlie Kirk keeps saying, oh, that's not relevant. <laughs> he said, he, she did say she'd love to take on this little uneducated turd, a.k.a. Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk is a friend of the podcast, by I the way. Charlie Kirk. Rude. Rude, I will defend Charlie Kirk. Chris. AB check, thank you, appreciate it. We ha She also said, I also have a theory that every pro-life argument you can make can also be made for the outlawing of guns. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Oh. I would have loved oh. to have got it. That's why I was pushing hard for her to stay, so we could have got into yeah. the pro-life arguments can be made about oh. outlawing. The life of a gun starts at conception. Well, Indeed, <laughs> I love it. The when the I gun, mean, when, a, when a little colt <laughs> is in the womb, when a little Smith and Wesson, a little baby Smith and Wesson, it's a fetal Smith and Wesson. <laughs> it's not fully not developed yet. It's not fully. It's a, not a fully, not fully developed. Cocked. It's it can't survive outside the womb.